Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Let's Play Out of the Park 18. And we're playing as the Kansas City Royals. Uh, I had some audio problems with my last video. So you will notice that we have skipped spring training. Uh, so let's jump into there. Uh, we actually went 19 and 11. We were nine and nine at one point, so ten and two down the stretch uh, to take uh, the AL West spring crown. And uh, let's look at the preseason predictions coming up. They actually have us predicted to go 68 and 88 this year, 19 games out of first. Uh, well, being that we just won the World Series, hooray! And we just won the spring, which, yeah, I know that's that's nothing. Um, that's still a bit of a surprise uh, to be picked that poorly. Uh, anyway, let's take a look here at transactions. Uh, after spring, these are the guys we demoted. Uh, we put Del Canton on, on waivers. Uh, and uh, Dan Dreesen we called up from the DL. So we are looking at Dennis Leonard, Ron Guidry, Doug Bird, Steve Busby, and Jack Morris this year. Bruce Suter has assumed the closer's role, and I want him to be a closer. Mark Littell, Al Herbrowski splitting setup duties as righties and lefties. McClure, Mingori, and Splittorf all coming out of the bullpen. Um, hopefully they don't have to pitch a ton and I'm contemplating you know what I'm gonna move I'm gonna move him to middle relief and I'm gonna move Splitorf into the rotation there we go that way I can get a right-hander in there just to break up that line and I can get another lefty in the rotation. Uh, over in the lineup side, Dreesen will be coming off of the uh, DL. He suffered a hamstring injury in spring training. Uh, of course, we traded for him last year uh, for Bryles, Stinson, and Perkins. And he's 25. So we're going to be going with uh, Rick Dempsey at catcher. Dreesen at first. Staggs has been placed into the second base role over Lee Lacey. Uh, so we'll go with that at least for right now. Brett at third. Burleson at short. Milner in left. Otis and McRae in center and right respectively. Uh, so there's the graphical look. Uh, if you want to see that, we'll have Lee May backing up at first base and off the bench. Lee Lacey off the bench, which, you know, a 321 stick is not a bad pinch hitter to have. And Hank Aaron will also be coming off the bench. I'm going to actually make him my number three bat. Uh, I really... Really hope he can get a couple of homers this year. Um, didn't end up with any last year. And, you know, injury-plagued season. Injury-plagued season. So, hopefully he can uh, rebound from that. So let's go ahead and get underway. Uh, well, I tell you what, before we do that, Let's take a look at another team. Uh, I think we have looked at, uh, what, the Mets? No, the Expos. And I don't remember. Don't remember. Uh, well, let's take a look at, uh, I guess I need to start a list here of the teams that I've covered. I remember we looked at Montreal. Was it the Phillies, the Mets? Well, I tell you what, let's skip over 
let's look at well let's look at Pittsburgh we'll look at Pittsburgh I hope that won the other team we looked at already I don't think so oh you know maybe it was so you know what let's not look at Pittsburgh let's just skip over to the American no we looked at God I don't remember guys drawing a brain freeze all right well I know I have not looked at Houston so we're gonna look at Houston right now and then I'll go back and relook at the videos and uh, see what I see down there all right so taking a look uh, we have uh, Ricky Henderson an 18 year old uh, of course he made his claim to fame with the Oakland A's he is a rookie well second year he got a late season call up last year hit 349 stole 16 bases and he was the number two overall pick in 1975 so two years hence and he is making his uh, big league opening day debut uh, Tim Pule, Terry Pule at, in right field Bob Watson at first base Cesar Cedeno in center Gene Tennant's the uh, you know he was with Oakland uh, in fact he was with Oakland last year in a trade so let's see he was traded for Don Ossie Mike Scott Jeff Smith Richard Haynes and Alfredo Torres so Oakland got two good players for him uh, so tenants will be behind the dish Doug Rader at third base Larry Milborn at second and Ray Bussey at short Mike Kukro 25 will be the number one pitcher Joe Necro number two Tom Griffin nine and seven last year Larry Deerker 13 and nine and Bryn Smith two and three in six games Charlie Huff the closer Ken Forsh coming out of the bullpen Joe Sambito, Dave Roberts, Tom Dixon, and Jim Crawford rounding out the rotation. Uh, George Vukovic, their top prospect, Bob Brindley, uh, Eddie Milner, Bryn Smith. So Bryn Smith getting his uh, opening day debut this year, too. He came up and played six games last year. Uh, Ed Putnam and Art Gardner. Doesn't look like they've got much in the way of talent in the farm system for whatever reason. Smith looks like he'll be, he'll be pretty good, but really out of their top prospects, nobody else outside of him stands out. So let's see, front office, is there history here? Well, let's see. Season ticket sales are up. Attendance is going to be up already. They actually made about 200000 in profit last year, which got them back on the plus side. So, good for them. So, I really, you know, Ricky Henderson will be somebody to build around. Watson is 30. Cedeno is only 26. Tenants is 30. Uh, Kukro is 25, Smith is 21, Deerker is 30. So, you know, it looks like about the age of 30, I mean, heck, even Charlie Huff is 29, and I thought he was like 80 his entire career. <laughs> Ken Forsh. So, you know, looks like, you know, between 24 and 30, you know, is, is the heart of their team. So they could be a team on the come as far as overall talent and, uh, you know, putting together a base here. Uh, not sure that they look very good at the bottom of the order, although Raider won't be horrible. But uh, definitely some holes at second and short. Uh, but they certainly make up for that uh, with, with uh, Ricky and a couple of the guys there in the heart of the order. So let us get ready for baseball. If we take a look at our front office, the owner, remember last year, we won the World Series. We actually, that was a surprise. Um, 
wants us to reach the playoffs again, improve our home run totals. Well, you know, if George Brett hits more than two in the regular season, we'll probably improve that. Uh, increase attendance to 30,800 per game. Uh, not sure that that's going to happen, but we did draw 1.9 last year and build a championship team basically wants us to get back to the World Series uh, by 1981. So a five-year window starts right now. All right, well, let's get to the ball games. We're going to start off with, uh, with Guidry on opening day. Dennis actually pitched four days ago, so he's on three days rest. He could go, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let let Gidry get the start, and we'll see. You know, that'll all work itself out in the long run. All right, so we're gonna go a week. Brian Murphy may not be on the DL. All right. Well, it must have moved him up. There he is. Man, <laughs> not good at all. All right, so he's a second baseman, so let's hop in here. Amos Otis, two weeks already with an injury. Come on. All right, day-to-day, -day, sprained ankle, minimal in influence on his hitting, moderate on running, minimal on throwing. And that's for two weeks. Well, you know what? I will put... Lee Lacey in. And that is going to put Amos Otis over here. There we go. And let's go ahead and put Hank up in front of him because we kind of want him not to be playing at all. All right, so 18 emails. We get off to a 6-1 and one start, a five-game win streak after losing, evidently on opening day, and we've got a one-and-a-half game lead. Brett, 483 batting average. 14-game hitting streak, dating back to last season. Oh, Ron Guidry got two wins. Nice. And a 0.9 war. All right, let's check our emails. All right, Jose Cardinal uh, of the Braves on a 20 game hit streak. Rudy May with a shutout. Enos Cabell, six to seven weeks with torn ankle ligaments. Lyman Bostock, American League Player of the Week, 500 average, one homer, eight RBIs. I would like to trade for him. <laughs> and Cincinnati, Kansas City, the Mets, Cleveland, and the Giants, top five in the power rankings. Atlanta, the Cubs, the Angels, the Tigers, and the Twins, the bottom five. So we'll delete all those. We will pop into our schedule. All right, so actually we got an opening day win over the White Sox, 4-1. to one. Guidry with a complete game, eight hit, one run. J.R. Richard, five hits, four runs over seven innings. Amos Otis and Lee May with homers. 
Nobody really stands out. Brett had two RBIs on his hit. The second game was a 5-2 loss. Bird took that one. Five hits, three runs over six innings. Littell, Herbowski again gives up two runs. You know, it's, it, is it just me or does it seem he gives up two or more or zero? It, there's no in-between. Uh, Goose Gossage with his first save of the season. A 3-2 to two win. Splitorf got the win. Suter picks up the save in his first appearance of the season. Brett with a home run in the first week. Oh, my gosh. A 7-6 win with all six runs scored late. Morris gave up all six, but they were late in the outing. Suter with a perfect, uh, well, not perfect, he had a walk, but a scoreless uh, inning for his second save of the season. Morris hit a home run in the third, so he's got as many home runs as Brett. <laughs> All right, Dreesen's actually in the lineup, one for five, leading off. Wow. 15 to three, Dennis Leonard, 10 hits, three runs. They certainly help him out. Milner, his first homer of the season. Soderhelm, who seemed to own our pitching last year, 23 homers last season. He gets his first off of Leonard this year. Brett's two for four, Dreesen's two for five, three for six for McRae, and two for two for Otis before he went down injured. 438, a homer, five RBIs when he went down with that injury. Gidry gets a second win. Suter picks up his third save. Brett, two for four. And 4-2 to two as we sweep the Twins. Bird got the win this time. Littell the hold. Suter gave up two hits but got the save his fourth. So here we are the first week of the season and four saves already for Bruce Suter. I'm thinking we have found our man. <laughs> uh, let's see. No homers. Stags and Mallory with stolen bases. Bostock, his first homer of the season. Off of Bird with one on and two outs. Brett, two for five, hitting 483 on the season. Dempsey, two for three, hitting 375. So we've got a series with California and Texas this week. Uh, it would be nice to really get uh, get a good opening here. Uh, you know, knock some of these guys down. Uh, you know, knock Texas back in the race a little bit right now that would be very nice all right let's go back well I didn't get news of any injuries but let's go check um, Otis two weeks still and Aaron has yet to make an appearance which is okay All right, designated for assignment. All right, we're going to put you there. And got a lot of pitchers in uh, AAA. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. All right, so there's another Monday. We are seven and three in our last ten. Texas goes four and six and is back two and a half. Oakland makes the jump to stay to one and a half, and California struggling along. Let's take a look at the emails. Tommy John with a win. He's 33 this year. Flanagan whitewashes Texas. Okay, that's not our May. Greg Lazinski with a 20-game hit streak. Fergie Jenkins got win number 200 for his career. 34-year-old ace for the Oakland A's. 
three hitter for Nolan Ryan. Ed Whitson, Atlanta starting pitcher out for five months with an arthritic elbow. He's only 21. If you already have arthritis in your elbow, that might not be good. <laughs> that might not be good. George Brett reaches 20 games for his hit streak. Mickey Rivers, season-ending injury. A broken bone in his elbow. 333 with two homers, four RBIs, and nine runs scored. That's going to be a loss for the Mets. Reggie Smith of the Tigers, AL Player of the Week. Steve Ontiveros of the Giants, National League Player of the Week. Cincinnati stays atop. Kansas City falls back to third. Detroit jumps up to second. Cleveland stays at four, and the Yankees jump up to five. Atlanta still at the bottom. California, Milwaukee, San Diego, Baltimore down in the bottom five. Let's go take a look at the schedule. Well, we've been averaging right at 30,000 here, not counting opening day. So that's actually good, 32,726. Season tickets were up another 18% to 13,800. And looks like we are on pace for about a $2.9 million profit this year. Schedule. A 4-2 win over California. Splitorf gets his win. Another solid game for Suter and save number five. Burleson with a triple. Burleson and Brett both with three hit games. A 9-7 loss. We actually got three runs late. They got nine runs in the second inning. Holy smokes. So Morris gets shelled. Five hits, nine runs. I'm wondering if he may not have to go down for some seasoning. Maybe he's uh, a little ahead of the pace here. At 21 years old. I'll have to keep an eye on that. McRae with a homer. Dreesen his second homer of the season. Bruce Boch Bochty has, uh, and I think I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, his second homer of the season as well. Brett, wow. Look at all the multiple hits right there. All, all four at the top of the order. That's nice. But, Wow. His home run might have been a great, yep, three on, a grand slam for him. Ouch. We come back and get them four to one. Leonard, his second win. Suter, sixth save of the season. And Brett, already with two home runs in two sims in the first month. That's awesome. Maybe we'll see that rebound. Uh, a loss here. Gidry got the no decision going a complete game. And Suter went two innings of shutout ball. Littell took the loss. Three hits, one run. Uh, that's a tough one to lose there. Three for six for Brett. Two for four. Two RBIs for Lacey. We came back. Well, so we split a four-game series here. We won the next two. Four to three. Bird with the win. Busby, Littell, Mingori team up. Littell had a rough outing. Dreesen, his third homer of the season. Split off a complete game win. No homers in that game. And then a 15 to 8 loss. Morris got tagged again. Man. All right. I think three, 
three starts, 22 hits in 15 innings, uh, 22 earned runs. Wow. I mean, he only allowed 31 earned runs all of last year, right? Jeez. So he's on pace for 55 walks in the same number of innings, which he'll actually eclipse 11 games. I'm just we're just talking about his first 11 games. Well, no, because he's getting knocked out. So three, six, nine times four. 88 hits, 88 earned runs, 44 walks. 36 Ks. So yeah, certainly uh wow. Angry at his own performance. You know what? <sighs> Golly. Thing is, I don't have anybody down there that's ready to come up and do anything. If I do send him down, what do I do there? All right, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a four-man rotation, and we'll put him in middle relief and long relief. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully he can rebound from that. I still have faith that he's going to get better, but boy, he's off to a rough start. Rough start. All right, Dan Dreesen leading the way with four homers, Brett with two, 11 RBIs for McRae. Otis has about a week left, six days. And Aaron went 0 for 1, so his first at bat, nothing. I want to put... Uh, I'm going to put him in every 20th game just to give him, well, you know what, let's do every 15th game just to give him some starts. And he can only play left field. All right. So we're off to a good start, 10 and 4. Very happy with that. George Brett's hitting almost 500. Dreesen with four homers. Brett, a one and a half war, a 20 game hit streak, and currently active. Ron Guidry with a 1.2 pitcher's war. Still early, but uh, Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, we are off to a rock and start defending our title here in 1977. Yep, 77. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.